Hi, my name is Tom Peters of the University of Iowa. In this video, we are going to talk about aerosol instruments that are manual and integrated by size. There are many different categories of aerosol sampling instruments. They include instruments that are manual or direct reading and those that are size integrated or size resolved. Here, I'll focus on manual and size integrated. This category includes filter samplers and size selective samplers. Manual means that a sample must be physically collected and then analyzed to measure concentration, usually mass concentration. Sampling must be conducted for long enough to collect sufficient material for analysis, typically eight hours for occupational and 24 hours for environmental sampling. Integrated by size means that a single average concentration will be used to represent many sizes. Most of these methods provide a measurement of particle mass concentration. Thus I depict average mass concentration integrated over many sizes on the concentration by size plot at right. Often Particles are collected onto filters for subsequent analysis. Filters collect a range of particles with varying efficiency depending on how the filter is made. The combined effect of diffusion and impaction results in a collection efficiency curve that is typical of filters. Here I show particle collection efficiency by particle size. The purple curve is typical of a low efficiency filter, like a low cost furnace filter. High collection efficiency is achieved for very small particles, say 10 nanometers, due to diffusion and for large particles larger than 5 micrometers due to impaction. However, the lowest collection efficiencies occur for particles in the middle size range, about 300 nanometers, because diffusion and impaction have the least effect on these size particles. Air sampling filters are designed to have high collection efficiency for all size particles. Thus, particles are collected if they reach the filter. Typically, filters are sold for air sampling already installed in filter cassettes. Here we see a filter in a filter cassette, which is then clipped to the lapel of a worker. Airflow is pulled from the breathing zone through the filter by a belt-mounted air pump. The filter cassette is composed of a bottom section which holds a support pad and the air sampling filter. These components are held in place with a ring that is press fit into the bottom section. Filter cassettes can be operated with a top inlet closed face sampling or without the top inlet open face sampling. Often. Certain size particles are excluded from reaching the filter in an effort to mimic some aspect of particle deposition in the human respiratory system. This type of sampling is called size selective sampling. Particles deposit in the human respiratory tract with different efficiencies, resulting in the plot shown here. 300 nanometer size particles have the lowest deposition efficiency. Only about 15% of them deposit when inhaled, whereas 85% are breathed back out without depositing. The fraction of particles depositing in the respiratory system increases for particles progressively smaller than 300 nanometers due to diffusion. For particles progressively larger than 300 nanometers, deposition increases due to inertial deposition, primarily in the head airways, although they also deposit by gravitational settling if they pass to the alveolar region. Gravitational settling of particles larger than approximately 5 micrometers makes them increasingly difficult to aspirate into the human body. Many occupational regulations require that particles are collected with specific sampling efficiencies called sampling criteria. Inhalable samplers collects those particles that can be aspirated into the human respiratory tract, so the inhalable criterion shown in blue follows the respiratory deposition fraction for particles larger than about 5 micrometers. 
shown in yellow, the thoracic criterion is designed to collect only those particles that pass into the head airways, nominally those particles smaller than 10 micrometers. And then shown in green, samplers based on the respirable criterion collect only those particles that can pass through to the deep lung, nominally smaller than 4 micrometers. Inhalable samplers follow the inhalable criterion that was shown in blue on the previous slide. They are designed to aspirate particles like the human mouth and nose. Examples of inhalable samplers are the IOM sampler that has an opening a bit like a mouth with the filter partially exposed. Another example is the button sampler that has a perforated metal sphere that provides more protection to the filter. Various vendors sell size selective cyclones which are typically designed to collect particles following the respirable criterion, the green curve that was presented earlier. Air entering a cyclone is forced to spin several times with larger particles hitting the wall and being forced to collect in a grit pot in the tip of the cyclone. The smaller respirable particles remain airborne and pass to a filter often housed in a filter cassette like that shown here. There are also size selective impactors such as the personal exposure monitor PEM sampler or the parallel particle impactor. In these samplers, larger particles collect on an impaction plate and the smaller particles that remain airborne are collected on a filter. The parallel particle impactor is unique in that it has different diameter impactor nozzles to produce an efficiency curve closely matching either a thoracic or a respirable criteria at different airflow rates. There are different ways to analyze collected particles. One of the most common is gravimetric analysis. Pre and post sampling, the filter is conditioned in a room with controlled temperature and relative humidity. Any charge on the filter is neutralized and then the filter is weighed on a specialized balance. The weight gained during the sampling is interpreted as the mass of collected particles. Mass concentration is then calculated as the mass of collected particles divided by airflow rate and sampling time. Alternatively, particles collected on a filter can be analyzed chemically. First, the filter with the collected particles are transferred into a phase suitable for analysis. This process is called digestion. Second, the digestate is analyzed by one of many different analysis techniques with output being related to the mass of particles of a particular composition deposited on the filter. Lastly, the concentration is calculated in the same way as gravimetric analysis, except that the mass is determined chemically rather than on a balance. 